I'm Virginia McGathy here on the floor at the CME Group reporting on the grain market. Today, soybean was sliding again. That China is preparing to move ahead with the tariffs, and that's got everyone a little bit nervous. And a lot of the traders have really moved to the sidelines. The uncertainty has got people uh, very, very worried. The market was down a lot tried to come back some, but then started to slip again. Uh, you know, uh, Friday begins that 25% tariff, and there is some worry about that. Uh, some commercials are, are long, but just not enough to really hold this market higher. And traders are really shrugging off even the, uh, the weather uncertainty, which normally would be a positive uh, for soybeans. Corn also drops. Uh, the, it was favorable weather conditions is really bearish for those futures. Now, the Midwest Corn Belt is a bit drier, but everyone's not is looking away from that. But demand is a little bit lower. Uh, technicals are still to the downside, and they think that this is what's kind of taken over the market. We also have the U.S. dollar index up as well. So we kind of took back a little bit what happened on Friday. It's really started to look good, like maybe this week it would start to be better. But I think everything's going to be really be focused on the implementation of these tariffs come Friday. We've got the holiday, so there's a, lot, a little bit of lackluster trade, and that's given uh, rise to uh, why the market's been falling. And wheat, uh, speaking of falling, wheat uh, fell a lot today. Uh, the downtrend really does remain intact. Interestingly enough, we, were, we opened up almost 14 cents and ended up down 15 cents. Uh, so it was a big trading day in a big wide uh, range, uh, but definitely worked back to the downside. So it took back all of Friday's gains, which is such a surprise because it really was looking good there for a while. And the world wheat supplies are still pretty plentiful. That's one more thing adding to it. Uh, I think that maybe the dryness in some of the areas around the world just isn't that bad. And so the trends uh, are down actually for all three wheats, for uh, Kansas City and Minneapolis wheat as well. And so the market's really sagging right here in the middle of summer. Uh, it's kind of like a strange look right now, especially when the weather would be more of uh, 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 on the bullish side or we would get a lot more uh, wild volatility. But interestingly enough, we are still getting the volatility. We're just not getting the volume along with it. But tomorrow's another day. It's going to be a shortened day tomorrow. And then we'll be back on Thursday. And then Friday, we're going to watch out for what's happening for those tariffs. That's all from the floor at the CME Group here in Chicago. I'm Virginia McGathy.